When you're running a business, you want to give your customers the easiest, the best, and the safest way for them to give you their cash. In Xero, you can do that using a Xero invoice template. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up a Xero invoice template in five minutes. Here's what you're going to need first. You're going to need Microsoft Word, your logo, and your bank account details. So here is how to set up a Xero invoice template in five minutes. Go to Settings, Invoice Settings. From here, we're going to set up a new branding theme. We're going to use the custom docx. Give it a name. And from here, we're going to download it to Microsoft Word. Once you open the zip folder, go to Invoice. This part is going to get a little technical, so please try and follow this the best you can. You want to insert your logo up here. You may want to center it. If you look down the bottom here, you'll see the payment advice. Not many people pay via check these days, so you might want to just get rid of it. The final step is to add your bank account details down the bottom so they can pay you. Once you're complete, your new invoice template should look like this. Your logo should be nice and clear in the center. You should have the title of the invoice. You should have the customer name and the customer details. You should have the invoice date, the due date, the invoice number, and the reference. And then over here, you should have your organization name and any other details such as your tax display number. We recommend that you leave this section, do not touch it. And down the bottom, ensure that your bank account details are displayed well. Once you're done, we're going to add this into zero. Now we're going to upload the new invoice template. While we're here, let's also upload an email logo. Now, let's drag it all the way to the top. You should now have the new DocX invoice and your logo. Now, to make it even easier for your clients to pay you, you can add what's called a payment service. Within here, you can add payment services such as Stripe, Apple Pay, Google Pay, PayPal, whatever you like. This is also a really good way to make sure your customers pay you quickly. Just choose the right one and go through the setup stages and it will appear on your invoice template. You can also set default settings. In here, you can set a default due date such as seven days after the invoice date. You can change that for every client. That's just your system default. What we'll do now is let's test this out on a new client. Now that you've added your invoice, you can take a look at what the new invoice looks like. Click print PDF. And here is what your new invoice looks like. When we email it, here is what your customer sees. From here, they can click the link and read the invoice. If you're not satisfied with how your invoice looks like, you can go back to settings and change it. Simply go back to Microsoft Word, make a few changes, and then upload the document again. What you'll see here is that I wanted to make payment information bigger. So I changed the font size and then I uploaded it again. So we hope that video was helpful. Within five minutes we show you how to create a zero invoice template. What we do here at Entry Counts is we help accounting practices and small businesses use zero properly so they can create the best systems available and ensure that they're making as much profit in their business as possible.
feel free to reach out to us and we can walk you through what's available to help you have the best Xero system and make the most money you can. Thank you.